Right. Well, according to the 2020 Poverty and Shared Prosperity Report, COVID-19 is likely to push between 88 and 115 million people into extreme poverty. That's right. And new this morning, Nikki Johnson, she met with an organization in the capital city that is helping people get some of their basic needs met. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. As the pandemic continues, so does the need for things like clothing and household items. And because of the drop in income, individuals and families are having a hard time staying afloat. It's just the, the, the perfect opportunity to match people up with people who want to give and have it distributed to somebody who doesn't have to pay for it. And the people who are in need, especially with everything going on and in the holidays, um, we have a lot of families coming down who just are really appreciative. Mark Meyer is the founder of Heaven's Helpers Soup Cafe, a nonprofit that provides free meals to people. About a month ago, he partnered with a team of ladies who felt the community needed some extra help. Coronavirus hit. We were watching people kind of suffering, um, maybe not making it from paycheck to paycheck, and we're here to bridge the gap. Since layoffs, shutdowns, and job loss, men and women are falling behind. So Heaven's Helpers Closet 701 was created to cover the basic needs of individuals and families struggling to make ends meet. Anybody qualifies. All you have to do is reach out on Facebook, private message us, or call the store. All of the volunteers work without compensation on their free time. And everything in the boutique is gifted from members in the community to those in need. We have um, all kinds of um, people reaching out from the community. The, the response has been overwhelming. We almost have it coming in so fast we can't keep they offer things like clothing, bedding, blankets, personal care items, and shoes for free. Terry says it's the right kind of mission at the right time. We're all busy, we're all scrambled, we're running around, but if you really want to give time to somebody that really needs the help, this is really from one hand to another. A free gift to the community just in time for the holidays. Places like this are so needed in the community right now, especially as those temp temperatures drop. And as more donations are taken, the need for volunteers to help sort and wash items is apparent. For information on how to donate, shop, or volunteer, you can click on this story at kxnet.com. And Josh and Alicia, they have a room full of clothing just waited to be sorted. So I'm thinking I might just go volunteer. Well, it, yeah. it, it, and it looks amazing there. You know, it's so welcoming yeah. for everybody coming in there and just getting those much needed supplies. Right. So, yeah. yeah, and they want people to shop with dignity. Exactly. So. Yeah. Get all hands yeah. on deck. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thanks, Nikki.